Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm back for a few minutes anyway. I know it's been a while. I've been busy uh, with graduate studies here lately. The last four or five weeks or so have been pretty rough as far as classes go and writing papers and stuff like that. But anyways, um, last, about a month ago, I had been looking for a 357, and I went ahead and bought one. Here it is. Um... Usually, like maybe on a Saturday or day, if I have off during the week of work, I like to go around to the different gun stores uh, and just hit them up and see what I can find as far as deals, as far as firearms, as far as ammo, as far as accessories. And I've been wanting a 357. I saw it; it was a good good price, so I went ahead and bought it. Let me uh, make sure this is safe. Okay. Let's see, cylinders clear, the, the pipes clear. Anyways, guys, I think this is a Model 66. I'm not sure. I could never find a stock photo on the internet of it. I'm not a really big uh, revolver wheel gun guru. I've only owned like two revolvers in my life the Taurus 44 Special, which is a cool gun, and um, that 38 Special that was similar to the one I had in uh, one of my earlier videos. That, that one's my stepdad's I showed you, but mine was just like it, but it was ported at the end of the barrel. This one isn't, but uh, basically this looks to me like a model that's similar to the uh, Colt Python. I don't know a lot about revolvers, guys, but I'll show you what I do know about it. Uh, it's got the square butt. It's called a square butt because the the handle down here is rounded off. Um, it's got the wood grips, which are pretty cool. I would like some combat style grips with uh, uh, finger wells in them. Maybe some wooden ones. Maybe some, uh, you know, pl uh, polymer or something like that. Uh, you got a high vis front sight, which is pretty cool. Full length under lug, right here. Um, you got, like I said, you got the rib across the top of the barrel here. You got adjustable sights, which is pretty cool on this. So, you know, if you shoot competition, this may be something for you with adjustable sights. I kind of am partial toward iron sights with my revolvers, but, you know, adjustable sights are cool too. Um, bluing's in good shape. You can see on here, it's, you know, it's pretty good. For the money I paid for it, I thought it was a good deal, so I went ahead and jumped on it. Probably should uh, clean it and oil it a little better though. So it's been sitting in a in a display case for I don't know how many months until I came along and bought it. Um, the bluing's good, like I said. Um, all the mechanisms, the hammer and trigger, sound pretty good. That's which you know, like I said, I'm not an expert, but you know, nothing sounds out of the ordinary. And usually, if something's wrong with the trigger or the hammer, I'm sure you could tell and the cylinder rotates pretty easy. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this, you can it's double or single action, obviously, guys. Uh, now, single action, you no problem. Trigger light, Very light trigger pull. When you shoot it in double action, it's a pretty stout uh, trigger pull. I'm not sure what the poundage is. I would like to take it to somebody who can uh, lighten that trigger pull for me. I, I don't want a hair trigger on this but I would like a slightly lighter trigger pull that's it's pretty stout um, that's the only thing I don't like about it um, <clears throat> as I was saying I don't know what model this exactly is I think it's a model 66 but um, I believe it's one of uh, Taurus's earlier models because if you'll notice there's no uh, trigger lockout mechanism safety mechanism here on the hammer now on that my first Taurus video I put out in my stepdad's 38 uh, on the hammer you you know you come the newer ones come with a little allen wrench type key give it a twist the lockout pops up and you can't cock the hammer back and you can't pull the trigger it's like a built-in child safety lock which is pretty cool uh, but this one doesn't have it I mean all you have is the cylinder release right here and nothing on the hammer so there's no safety on it um, other than that guys there's not I don't know really what else to tell you other than I wanted to 
show it off and tell you what you think. And if somebody can correctly identify this model, go ahead and post it on the comments. Or if you want to email me or something through YouTube, go ahead and do it. Uh, when I go to the range, this will probably be the next gun I take with me to go ahead and test fire it. And another thing about 357s that I thought about for a while and I thought was pretty cool also is that a 357 is basically a two-in-one pistol. Now what I mean by that, um, if you want to shoot 357 rounds through your 357, by all means, that's what it's for. If you want to shoot a little lighter load, or if you want to spend, I'd say, I don't know, a few dollars less on a box of ammo, you can shoot 38 special rounds through it. Now, I don't know if you can shoot plus P. I would think you could because basically a 357 is a hot 38 special round. Uh, same, you know, you've got the same diameter bullets. Casing's different. Pair up a 357 casing and a 38 casing, you're going to find that the 357 casing is just a little bit longer. More, you know, more powder, more kick. A higher velocity bullet, anyway. Uh, this is it, guys. What I'll, I'll probably just change out the grips on this. I don't know when, but, uh, you know, the wood's okay, but I kind of like pistol or uh, combat grips better. But, like I said, for the money, I saw it, couldn't beat it. It was a pretty good deal, so I went ahead and bought it. If anybody wants to add anything to this, uh, feel free, or if you got a question for me for this, go ahead and post it, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And when I go to the range and test fire it, have some fun with it. I'll try to remember to bring along my camera and tripod and then post that on YouTube and then give you my thoughts on this pistol's performance. Until then, guys, I will see you later.